Ladies and gentlemen, if you do appreciate mint in your fragrances, this is one you do not want to miss. What's going on everyone? My name is Max Forte. If it's your first time on this channel, this is a channel where we discuss fragrances, smelling great, and making a great first impression. So why don't you go ahead and make yourself comfortable because today we're going to talk about Imaginary Authors, this great indie artsy house that I absolutely love. It sits at the top of my five best indie houses in fragrance. This is probably at the top three for sure. This is uh, their latest release from last year. Of course, we're talking about Saint Julep. This is my scent of the day today, and it's been my scent of the day for the past few days. I've been trying this fragrance mostly in at morning time, and we're gonna understand why. I absolutely love this juice, and I'm gonna share it with you guys. Before I dive into this composition, I just wanna give a shout out to Josh Meyer. By the way, this was not sent to me for review. I actually purchased this myself, but I wanted to give a shout out to Josh Meyer anyway because I love what he does with this house. I love the creative process. I love the attention to detail, how much goes into these scents, you know, all the different directions he takes and how daring and, uh, you know, off the beaten path, if you will, really unique and exotic fragrances that he puts together. I absolutely love a lot of the stuff that he's done in the past. I like the direction that the company's taking right now. So I couldn't start this review without giving Josh Meyer props where props is due. Shout out to you, Josh, if you're watching this. Great juice right here. Let's find out why. Before I talk about what I get out of St. Julep, let's talk about the offering sizes. You can get a 50 ml bottle like this for 95 US, or you can get a 14 ml travel atomizer like this that will run you $38 US. Of course, the creative, uh, you know, director of the company, the nose, the perfumer is Josh Meyer. This is an Eau de Parfum concentration. If you guys want to learn more about St. Julep, I'll have the link down below for the website, the, the official, you know, Imaginary Authors website, so you guys can check this fragrance out. Unfortunately, I don't have any coupon for you guys, but it's definitely worth checking out. You guys probably watched, if you follow the channel, I did my top 10 favorite mint uh, fragrances that I love. This one here, I did not have when I put that fragrance list together. Had I owned this fragrance, this would have definitely made my top 10 favorite mints of all time. When you first spray this fragrance, one thing is for sure. The fragrance is extremely inviting, very mouth-watering, very appealing, delectable. You're going to get this beautiful crushed mint, sweet mint, might I add, accord with a little bit of a boozy nuance going on, which is the, bur the bourbon that's you know infused here. There's also tangerine, sweet magnolia, which will give it almost like a white floral effect, a little bit creamy as well. Then you have the Grisalva, the sugar cubes, and the crushed ice. Needless to say, this is a great scent for spring and summer. If you want something refreshing, something uplifting, definitely check this fragrance out. It is great. Like I said, the initial spray is one of those things that's just gonna invite people. People will gravitate towards you. This is how great the initial spray here. Think about a cocktail, a really nice, uh, you know, mojito, or a cocktail like a caipirinha from Brazil with, with the crushed, you know, lemons, the mint, you know, the added uh, rum. Where I live right now, it's in the mid 80s, to high 80s, to low 90s, which this is a perfect morning casual scent. You can, you can dress up a little bit on this scent, but I think it's more of a morning casual scent. Absolutely, you can wear it dressed up, dressed down. It's absolutely androgynous. Anyone can enjoy this fragrance. I like to wear it mostly morning time, more casual if I'm hanging out with family and friends. I think it has that cozy, really um, warm kind of effect and really invigorating and uplifting uh, effect that I love to wear when I'm just relaxing and having a good time. That's what I love to wear this for. But you can also rock this for work. I mean, it's very versatile at that. The only time that I think I, I wouldn't wear this fragrance is really in the dead of winter. Other than that, spring, summer, and fall, it's all bats go for this one. It's a great scent. You can definitely enjoy it all year round for sure. One thing I love about this fragrance, obviously, my wife and everybody around me, my family, really enjoy this fragrance. The way it wears on me and if I have to tell you one fragrance that this reminds me of if you like Baccarat Rouge 540 from MFK this one here is very close to that fragrance especially in the dry down so it's not the exact same fragrance this goes a different way but the dry down will give you a really close similarity at least on my skin to MFK's 540 Baccarat Rouge which is a great thing for me for a fraction of the price I can smell just as good and I really appreciate this fragrance, so it's a win-win for me. Now, here is a little bit of a downfall, if you will, with this fragrance. The one thing I didn't love about the fragrance is the performance. As far as longevity, I got about four to five hours. If I spray my clothes, it'll push between five and six, which is not bad, 
but after the first hour or so, the fragrance wears very close to your immediate surrounding. People will have to get close to your immediate area to get whiffs, but as you walk around, it will give you a nice uh, scent trail, which is nice. But as far as longevity, I wish this gave me, you know, seven plus or eight plus. But never, nevertheless, you know, for the price point, you can always respray. You can bring a little atomizer, which I always do anyway. So, like I said, it's a great smelling fragrance. Longevity could be better, but I think Josh Meyer was going for this anyway. He didn't want something that was beastly or really going to push. So the fragrance does what it's supposed to. My final thoughts on this St. Julep release is I'm a huge fan of imaginary authors. As I said in the beginning, I love what Josh Meyer does with his fragrances. Very creative. Love his approach. Love the whole process, the attention to detail. You know, the whole creative process with the imaginary authors that he comes up with, the whole storyline. Bottom line with imaginary authors is every single juice that Josh Meyer produces are quality. You can sense the quality from the get-go. The, the fragrances are very exotic. They're very unique, very exclusive. You know, uh, one of my all-time favorites right here, it's Cape Heartache. Try Imaginary Authors if you haven't. It's a great brand. It's a great house. Definitely worth checking out. I'll have, again, the link down below, guys. Click away. Check out the offerings. Get some samples. Try it in your skin. St. Julep is one of the best right now from the brand, in my opinion. It definitely makes my top five right now. Uh, Cape Hardig being my very top favorite one from the brand. I will be doing very soon a good, bad, ugly, you know, underrated and overrated from this house just because I love it so much and I think it grants a, you know, GBU, which you guys always ask me to do. So stay tuned for that. And guys, hopefully when I do my good, bad, ugly from this brand, I'll be able to offer you guys a nice coupon as well as a nice giveaway. Huh, Josh? And of course, this is the time of the video that I want to ask you guys, the viewer, what are your thoughts on Imaginary Authors? What do you guys think about this house? What are your top three favorites from the brand? Please let me know down below. And of course, if you guys enjoy your fragrance channel, don't forget to show your support. Please like, share, and subscribe for a lot more great content. Don't forget to enable your icon, your bell icon, notification icon, whatever you want to call it, so you guys can get straight news, fragrant news, giveaways, reviews, and anything and everything fragrance that happens on this channel and at the Emporium of Sense. Also, don't forget to check out my Instagram page, which everything that happens here, most likely it'll happen there first, which I'll tell you guys, you know, what's coming, what I'm reviewing next. Just like I posted a picture of St. Julep, you know, about a week ago, and I said, guys, review coming soon. There's a giveaway, there's a coupon code. Guys, don't forget to check out the social media platforms, Instagram, the Emporium of Sense Facebook group. That's why, guys, I ask you to always stay connected to the Emporium of Sense Facebook group. This is a place where we share fragrant news, giveaways, and anything and everything fragrance 24-7. I hope to see you guys there. Again, all the links to all social medias will be down in the description below. And of course, as always, ladies and gentlemen, stay fragrant, keep on spraying, and I'll see you in the next one.